this is Kim from Rock Lover channel and I'm going to show you how to repair your nails better than just with crazy glue. You'll, I have a, especially for first and foremost, especially if your nail, the break or crack is behind where you can cut. Mine is right here in this area. I don't know if you can see it any better this way, but I have previously done it once and I'm just redoing it now because I finally found my buffer. So this, one of these, what is it, six sided, two, four, five, oh no, actually it's seven. So you've got your regular emery board, you've got a medium. You've got a smooth, and then you've got your even out, which is step four, smooth, step five, and then your buff, step six, and shining, step seven. Now, you'll also need this. It's the gel, the gel resin brush-on um, by IBD, and we brush one of the, this on. Actually, you really only need to probably use this to brush on the spot, but I brushed the whole nail to fortify it. And then I use some of the powder. Oops, sorry. I use some of the powder here. And I already got the the brush on stuff on. This is the nail filler powder um, that's supposedly, supposedly clear and we'll put some of that on. And yes, this is the pillow that I usually sleep on, but we can fix that later. Make sure you get a little extra on the spot around this area that and blow off the excess now let that dry that's your that's the first layer let that dry and then once it dries you can buff it go through the grits a little you know go through the emery parts a little bit and then you go do another layer Go down, do a third one. But this is really better for rail nails because if you try to get it off with when you have fake nails, you're gonna basically melt the nails because you need pretty much 100% acetone. Because I prefer I prefer actually to use non-acetone nail polish even on my real nails. But I put a little bit of acid. I measure out my own acetone into it because non-acetone doesn't always work well on taking stuff off so I prefer to buy them separate anyway again there's a, a good one is um this I think I got at a dollar store or discount store this one maybe even a dollar tree um I know Revlon has one I used to use that one a lot um, because these ones aren't always reliable, depending on what one you get, but this one I do like. It has everything, and it's not mismarked either. Um, I'm trying to think well, who else has ones like this, but pretty much just go look. Cause, I mean, what's the point other than a brand name? I mean, if you could get something for a buck like this that actually works well, then why not, right? Now, let's see. I think I'm done here, so we just, like I said, using this, the course, we just file this down a little bit. Oh, that wasn't fully dry. You'll end up with somewhat of a, looking like you've got a little bit of a gash. Uh, sorry. But it's. I'll let it dry a little more, and then you use that until you can actually see your nail. Hold on, let's see. Mm. 
Okay, yeah. That wasn't so bad as I thought it was. Before you do, if you can remember, before you do it, try to put a little bit of cuticle cream around the edge of your nail. Like, you know, so that it doesn't get clogged up on your skin. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of medium grip. And then we'll use a little bit of the fine. Oh, sorry. I still haven't gotten used to doing videos on my laptop yet, so my apologies. Now you see the nail is a little closer if you can see. You can see it's a little shiny now. I just gotta try and get this part better. That's one of the bad problems with these big ones, but what are you gonna do? I don't know if I've ever seen thinner ones than this, but after you do that, just try and see, make sure your nail Make sure your nail feels smoother than it did before. You could even, if you want, instead of just going through the emery parts, you can still, you know, you can do the even out and the smooth nail as well. And then do another layer of the pol the, pol the brush on polish stuff. And if you'll feel safer, the powder, let that dry again, and then just do your um your emery board smooth out and we'll all have beautiful nails okay i hope you enjoyed my video and i hope you do better with your nails and just crazy glue and also try passing the word around to others even though this is my little secret, so to speak, but for those of us with real nails, we kind of need to spread the word. Have a good one, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love feedback, and any critique, I know I need to do better with, you know, telling you guys everything a little faster and things like that, but... I'm still trying. I don't make videos often, but when I have an idea, I do, and there you go. Anyway, let me know what you want videos of. Maybe that'll help me out create more, okay? See you next time.